Hello everyone, and welcome to the edge of the map. Today I traveled all the way here to the lush Nanman jungles in the hopes of finding elephants to fight. Well, I traveled to the ends and I didn't find any elephants. Instead, I found terrible things. Terrible things known as bandits. Bandits that look like the same ones that you find in the north. So you can imagine my disappointment when I saw this. Uh, I was really hoping to see like, at the very least, you know, like non-mon savages with bones in their noses coming and go ooga booga and try to beat me over the head. But nope, nope, the only thing I find are these guys that you can find anywhere on the map. So yeah, my disappointment was absolutely paramount. But anyway, that's not what I'm here about. Today I'm here to talk about my wonderful Infinite Musou build. So as you can see, my gauge has ran out a little bit ago, and I'm still swinging on this head chief. And now I'm gonna blast him away. Lufu-copter, look at this pain that I'm gonna dish out. I'm gonna send you flying in the air, and I'm gonna keep swing, swing with- Oh no! Oh no, these guys could actually kill me, but that's okay, because I have infinite Musou. I will just keep swinging and swinging and swinging, and then these guys can do nothing to stop me. So as you can see here, this... This isn't yet another form of immortality that you can find in Dynasty Warriors 9. Earlier I showed the infinite regenerating build, which is absolutely disgusting, and you know what, this looks like I'm... I actually set this forest on fire. <laughs> I like the way the forest just turns completely red. Or the jungle turns completely red as I continuously swing my weapon. That's absolutely terrible. Yeah, it def definitely looks like I just set this whole place on fire. Alright. Come on! So while I'm doing this, my Musou gauge fills. And I'm ready to go and use my Musou again. Oh! Not so! Toy! Hey, where'd you go? Where'd you go, head chief? Where'd you go? Chief of making wonderful music play. Oh! Well, that's not the right one, but I will. S I suppose I will beat the living crap out of you, too. But where is the head chief? Where is your head chief? This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm just gonna Musou walk over here to try to find your chief. Did I kill him already? You guys, did I kill him? I don't, I don't think so. Oh well, at least these guys are dead now. Yeah. Oh no, maybe I did kill him. I see. No, those were probably from the guys that I killed earlier. Well. The point is, is that he, he's, he's gone missing. I hit him so hard, he, he's gone missing. Oh, maybe that, that is it. Oh, yeah, that, there he is. There you are. I think that's you. This time, I won't let you get away. Do what? Man of wonderful music playing while I beat the living crap out of you. But yeah, I was really hoping I would find Ooga Boogas here. Seriously, this is so disappointing. What happened to the realism there, Producer Suzuki? Seriously, why why would I... Why is he bragging so much about the realism of this game? Because there's nothing real about this game. It's just a conveniently used excuse to try and get away with cloning weapons. Because that's seriously what that is. Look at this. I'm just beating this guy despite my Musou case running out. And I have like a small window of vulnerability though with this build because I have to wait for my Musou gauge to fill up, unfortunately. Though I did discover a reason why, so I can fix this and turn this into a real, real infinite Musou build soon. Right now I can't because I have built my character in a certain way, but mm, I suppose it's better if I explain it like this. So. Let's de-equip this fang. Now, I'm gonna use my Musou with my regular size Musou gauge, okay? So I swing, 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 and my Musou batteries are still keeping me going. However, as soon as I ran out, 
as you can see, I use my Muso I finisher right away. But when I equip the Wolfang, which gives me 163, and increase my Muso gauge, well, you've already seen. I can continuously swing, and despite the fact that my Muso had ran out, so this teaches me a certain thing about Muso and how it works in this game. I don't know how, if this is how it is with older games, but in this game, when your Muso gauge is bigger, your regeneration is also bigger, and your Muso cost as you swing your weapon is to a set to a certain amount, like a set amount. Now, originally, you know, I think that when it says plus four per one second, they literally mean like four, but that's not the case. It's like how it was with the health before, that, that's not the case. So it's definitely a percentage of some type, and when your Musou bar is like as long as mine right now, you can certainly continue to use your Musou until God knows when. So, with this build, if you were to spend points into more Musou, whereas, you know, normal, normally you wouldn't do that because you, know, you would think that, oh, it makes it take longer to charge up your Musou. Well, that is not the case in this game. At the very least, not this game. Because in this game, the longer Musou bar you have, well, as you know, the longer you can hold down your Musou attack. But also, increases the speed of which you gain your Musou. So let me go and fight another group of enemies, because I wanted to fight these, these things as I passed by them earlier. I was hoping to fight... fight, um... Oh wow, where am I going here? I thought I was finding a treasure chest, but apparently that's not the case. Well, let's just climb over this cliff and find these targets I was talking about. And of course, these cliffs decide that they're going to be too slippery for me, but do you see how beautiful this rain is? How beautiful this rain is. I think that PC version doesn't get that right now. I think they they, uh, they got rid of the rain for the PC version. Which is quite a shame because the rain is actually really beautiful. I mean, look at it just making my armor look so, so glistening. I am like such a beautiful officer right now. Now, I can't even get over to where the tigers are anymore because this game is giving me brain damage. But, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So I originally came down here to find elephants, but, well, then I found tigers. Well, tigers are not a huge deal, you know, they're just boring tigers. But then I eventually ended up finding these wonderful white tigers, which I hope I can find now, because they were over here before. Now I'm running over deers and whatnot. There, there was definitely white tigers here. I swear to God, there, there's white tigers. I'm not lying. I'm not crazy. Trust me. There, there are definitely white tigers here. Look, look, game, please, don't make me look like a liar, please. White Tigers, where are you? Don't don't be like this, man. Dude, you're, you're making me look like a liar now, stupid game. Come on, man, don't do this. Now, look at look at what I'm doing. My, my horse is masturbating through this mountain, and I can't find the White Tigers. This is absolutely ridiculous. They, they were here. I swear, they were here. Now my chestnut is 58. Look at what's going on here. I'm suffering brain damage, and you're all just watching me suffering brain damage. <sighs> all right. Well, I talk about. Well, I look for these stupid. Oh, there they are. All right, there are the white tigers. So white tigers are actually pretty tough too. But most importantly, I think they give different types of pelt, which helps me build different items. So, as you've learned with this, as long as your Musou gauge is longer, you can continuously keep hitting things over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Now, I have yet to put points into my Musou gauge, but I have a feeling that if you were to do that and get four of those um, Musou batteries, I call them one of their core fine feather belts if I remember correctly, yeah, if you get four of these and naturally have a Musou gauge of, say, a plus 163, you would literally be able to swing forever. I, I'm i pretty sure of it, considering my uh, testing with this, with just three Musou batteries, I was able to last, despite the fact that my bar had ran out. Now, let me just kill these white tigers like this, set them on fire. 
then Muso Muso Muso. So I chose not to use the lightning gems for this time because the vermilion bird gems actually increase my damage for when I'm out of Muso and well my all my attacks in general on top of the Muso. So this is actually a better setup for for just doing damage. Now you're not actually invulnerable for the most part until you uh Oops, look at that. <laughs> that white tiger do a backflip and now he's dead. That was actually pretty cute. Anyway, so yeah, I'm not invulnerable when I'm when my Musou runs out. So unless I have the infinite Musou going, I do have a little bit of weakness. So I'm thinking about putting points in the Musou for the boo, but I have yet to decide. Oh, did that tiger despawn? Yeah, it probably did. That's that's crap. Oh well. Seriously, how could they even let this happen? Like, just a unit that you're fighting just completely despawn and disappear in front of you. Yeah, how can you call this realism? This is ridiculous. Alright, uh, I guess that's pretty much it for our uh, white tiger hunt. A bit of a shame. I was hoping to find some some interesting uh, creatures. I really was hoping I would find an elephant that I could beat to death here. But nope, nope. Just, just white tigers and tiger. Ah, alas, such is life. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, little discussion here. You know, as you can see, build up your Musou gauge longer, have four sets of batteries, and you can Musou all day. Now, let's talk about the gems, though, that I have equipped for this build. So, as you can see here, this increases my flow attack, which happens after I use my, uh, one of those R1 square charge attacks. And it also increases my special attack damage, and yada yada yada. And most importantly, it increases my attack by 155% with Fire Elemental. So after I set someone on fire, I do 155% more damage. It's not, it doesn't look like much because enemies here don't take that much damage, but still, it's quite considerable. It's quite considerable increase. Let's go to uh, fight this tiger real quick here. I like this. Ouch, that tiger could have one shot. So now I guess I have no choice but to just continuously muso him to death. But yeah, that's pretty much it to this build. You just you know set yourself up with some vermilion vermilion bird things, and then you just continuously holding down your muso button and kill people. That's all there is to it. It's absolutely disgusting and it's not exactly the funnest build around, but it gets the job done. It makes you invulnerable though, for the whole duration, and then you just simply beat the living crap out of someone. It gets the job done. I also discovered another thing. Before you go, I mean, like, if you're still here, because hey, this is, you know, I feel like I might have repeated myself a little bit too much. I discovered that, despite the fact that my attack is capped out at a 999, continuously adding points into attack would still make you hit a little harder. It's like not that much but you can still hit harder because it's based off of your um the points that you get from the leveling but yeah you can still increase your attack beyond 999 so keep that in mind when you make your build though i think you should find a sweet spot where you could infinitely muso with this if you want to use infinite muso that is to uh, set up your muso gauge to about Probably 163. No, maybe, maybe even a little less. With four of those, um, with four of these feather belts, you should be able to infinitely muso. Now, another thing you need to take note, though, is is that these belts do have some RNG attached to them. You can see these things are like plus four muso per second. Well, there are others that have only plus three. I managed to luck out and get three of those things at plus four. So keep that in mind when you craft as well from fishing and whatnot, I can also go ahead and link to my little fishing guide, which helps explain how to get the coins to get these stupid things. You need, like, um, I think booby coins for these. No, no, wait, I think it's Dalby. Yeah, it's Dalby that you need to go and um, craft the fine feather belts too for this build. But with this build, as you can see, I just need to hold down my 
circle button and all of a sudden I'm an invulnerable god. Well, I'm stuck behind something, but that's okay. I'm just gonna Muso walk over it because I'm an invulnerable god. And then I will just keep hitting this tiger and then this tiger can do nothing but get completely ravaged by me who is an invulnerable god. Oh, but I just ran out of power. Well, I'll just do this. And just evade his attack. Oh. Ooh, I be careful there. I set him on fire. Wait for my Musou to charge up. Like so, so, and so, and so, and so, and so. Now I'm gonna go back to swinging this thing over and over and over and over and over again. And that is how this build works. It's so disgusting. Like, if you, I don't, if I have a longer Musou gauge, I don't even have to do that. All I need to do is just hold down this button and then I, then everything around me dies. That's just how disgusting this is. Still, I don't know if I could recommend this build after a certain amount of time. Maybe it could get you out of a tough spot, but as you can see here, it gets, it gets, it kind of gets boring after a little bit, but it gets the job done, so, yeah. such is such. Anyway, let me just kill this tiger, and we'll just go to do an uppercut to this tiger, watch he does a backflip, and whoop, no more tiger. All right, well, that's pretty much it. I thank you all for watching. Until next time.